Hey, what's up YouTube? Brian Fajoli here. And today I am unboxing something extremely cool. It is the G604 mouse from Logitech. Now this is a special mouse. It's designed more for like those MMO RPG type games like World of Warcraft. There's six thumb buttons here, six, that you can customize for different commands. Um, but you could use it for any type of game and even productivity as well. So like if you're a, um, let's say you do a lot of data entry and there's some, maybe there's some things that you always have to kind of paste in the same command over and over again. You could like program it into one of these buttons. There's so many different things you can do. Um, it has, let's see, Bluetooth as well as you can use a USB. So dual connectivity if you look at the back of the box. So, Bluetooth or ultra-fast 1 millisecond light speed advanced wireless technology. Toggle between these options. I like this because two reasons. One, my desktop does not have Bluetooth. Um, I could probably plug in a USB dongle if I could find one laying around somewhere, but I, I, I don't really use Bluetooth on my desktop. Um, plus, I like to use a mouse when I'm entering like the BIOS to do like overclocking and things like that. Um, and you really can't do that with the Bluetooth mouse. By having a USB dongle, I can I can do that. So let's see, 15 tactful. Let's see, 15 tactically positioned controls, and a dual mode hyper fast scroll wheel. That is awesome. Fully programmable via Logitech G Hub software. Nice. So we have that. There's the Hero uh, 16K sensor on the bottom. This is basically a very high end gaming mouse, but I don't believe it's very expensive. It's only like $99, which is actually quite good for everything that you get. Uh, it uses a AA battery, so you can get up to 240 hours with one AA battery. And you're probably saying, well, why would I want a AA battery instead of something that's like rechargeable? And there's always two schools of thought with this. Um, it's nice to be able to, re to do recharging, but at the same time, um, it's nice that if your mouse is like totally depleted, with a AA battery, you just throw a new one in. So you can like have some cheap AA batteries in your bag. So it can go either way. I like the idea of a AA battery. Easy to find in like a store. Uh, if you're in an airport, you can easily get one from like a shop. No problem there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. So on the top, there is some tape. Let's go ahead and try to cut into the box here. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I demolished the box. Move the camera a bit there. Pull the mouse out, I believe. Somehow. Oh, what a weird box. Do I need to take the bottom tape off as well? Let's see. This is the worst unboxing ever. I destroy boxes, it's okay. Let's see. I, I'm at a loss, folks. Oh, there's a little thing here. Oh, I'm, I'm so silly. So like I'm pulling on these sides, and like how do I get this out? How do I pull it? There's a little, there's a tab here. There's a little tab. You literally pull that tab and pull it out. So the box is now empty. Go ahead and take a look. So we have the mouse. There's a little... This packaging is really weird. Okay, so we got the mouse out. In addition to the mouse, we have a Duracell battery in French as well, uh, non pole vente. Oh, I think that's, or is that Spanish? Um, not for retail sale, Duracell OEM battery. We have the mouse itself. Also, wasn't expecting this is a USB extension cable. These come in handy. So you can put the um, USB dongle for the mouse, the wireless receiver. You can plug it into this if you wanted to route it closer to the mouse away from like your desktop. Maybe if you're, you know, want better performance. Um, when I say performance, I mean like the connectivity, not like you're gonna, 
get better at gaming as a result. Uh, what I mean by performance is like maybe um, the mouse, the pointer isn't is skipping a little bit or something. You might want to bring the dongle closer to the mouse. You can do that. So here is the mouse, and on the bottom there is some plastic. We'll pull that off. What a beautiful, this is a really beautiful mouse. The bottom just has the G604 writing. There's the sensor, um, on and off button. Ooh, super, super smooth scroll. And you can lock it in with this button. Now you have like a regular scroll, right? Ratcheting, click, press it again. And you got that smooth scroll, which is great for gaming if you have to scroll through something really quickly. Even if you have a giant Excel spreadsheet or something, that can come in handy. But you can turn that on and off. And then we have the six buttons on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you could potentially make two of those like front and back for like a browser or whatever you normally do. Um, or you could program these for let's say uh, changing, um, reloading, and for swapping out a weapon, um, jumping. I, I, I like putting like jump in a game. I don't like having to press like a space bar. So I'll, like, I'll put on a side button like jumping. So like I can just move with the keyboard, you know, forward, back, right, and left. Um, and, and basically, you know, move vision with the mouse, but then like jumping and crouching, you can put into the side buttons. It's really, really cool. Uh, DPI selector here, up and down. Um, oh, there's some tape here. Some blue tape. Um, the top, it's, you know, it's all black, like matte plastic for the most part. Uh, there's a shiny black plastic here. This middle part where your, like, palm would go is kind of like a nice rubbery material. Um, there's an LED light right there. I could see the little thing. It's not actually lit up. There's the light there, though. And the Logitech G logo. Now, to open the mouse for the battery, let's see if we can figure this out without actually having to read instructions, because I don't like to read instructions. Oh, so there's a little tab here. I'm going to guess... Yep, let's pop that off. Inside, we have the handy uh, connector, the dongle for USB. And again, you could use this with Bluetooth if you don't want to use the dongle. The um, battery shows the positive goes on the top. We're going to put that thing. Is that magnets? Is this held on just by magnets? Oh, that's really nice design. So now that we have the battery in, we're going to go ahead and flip this button. So I'm going to flip it, and we can see if the light just turns on right away. It does. So now we have a blue light blinking. Um, I'm not sure if it, by default, goes to the light speed, the USB dongle, or Bluetooth. Um, there is a button here for, I believe you hold this down for Bluetooth pairing. I'm going to use the USB dongle, but I'll also test it like with a laptop with Bluetooth as well. Uh, I've just never been a huge fan of Bluetooth on a desktop, just haven't had the need. This mouse feels really, really nice in my hand. The grip is nice. It's not too big. I have small hands and it actually fits really well. And I think that if I was doing my normal like web browsing, I would have no problem only hitting these two buttons. Like one of my concerns is maybe my muscle memory, like I, I hit the wrong buttons on the side, but it's actually really nice where your thumb can go right to those first two buttons on the bottom. And then you kind of have to do a little bit more reaching for the other four. So it's not like you're going to be constantly hitting the wrong things. Um, the DPI selector here, um, I don't think, like I could, I could see like if you're doing like a really hardcore gaming session, your finger could maybe hit these buttons on the side. It's kind of um, not the best place to put that, I guess. I've seen usually DPI buttons like here, where this, where this is for the ratcheting. Um, but also, the, the mouse wheel goes left and right. And that's handy for, yes, for gaming. I really love right and left scrolling for large Excel sheets. Again, I, I really love Excel. I'm a big Excel user. Um, so when I can just kind of tilt my mouse to go over to like rows that are invisible on the screen, it comes in very handy. 
Listen how smooth that is. Press that again. And we got the ratcheting. Very, very beautiful mouse. I like that the the design is just absolutely gorgeous. The bottom is just very... It's like rounded on the sides. Whoever designed this mouse, you could tell they really put some thought and care into it. Just a really nice mouse. I, I don't feel like it's too big. Um, so, some mice can sometimes be a little bit too big for my smallish hands. This is really nice. I can still kind of claw the mouse. Um, I don't feel like this thumb rest gets in the way. Uh, I've never been a huge fan of like a thumb rest in the mouse, but this, this is actually really nice. And it glides very nice, the feet, on the wood desk. I don't use a mouse pad. Very, very nice. Very cool mouse. I'm gonna go hook this up now um, and start playing with it. And let me just go ahead and grab the box. Once again, this is the Logitech G604 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse. Um, and let me just read off some specs real quick. So 15 controllable buttons, we know that. Dual mode, hyper fast scroll wheel. Physical specs, 130 by 80 by 45 millimeter, 135 grams. Uh, let's see, Bluetooth report rate 88 to 133 hertz. Sensor, Hero 16K, 100 to 16,000 DPI, it's crazy. Battery life up to 240 hours, awesome. So it says, what will you need? A USB port or Bluetooth, obviously. Windows 7 or later. Mac OS 10.12 or later. And internet access to get the Logitech G, the Logitech G Hub software. And from what I understand, now that software is probably just Windows and Mac only. So if you're a Linux user, you're probably thinking like, well, I can't then customize these buttons. From what I understand, and I have to test this out, I think you can program this mouse independent of the software. Meaning that it could be potentially a really nice mouse for someone who's strictly using Linux for gaming. And yes, there are some people that do that. Um, wow. So yeah, I'm going to go hook this mouse up right now to my desktop, plug it in, give it a try. Look at that bad boy. And obviously this is for right-handed users only. If you're lefty, you're kind of out of luck. I love that. I love the ratcheting and the smoothness. So easy to switch. Awesome. All right, that guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about this mouse, please let me know in the comments below. And if you do like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. All right, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.